Hello, Rita here. Welcome to New Nail Tech Success, where I help you get started as a nail technician. How you guys doing? Hopefully you're doing as good as I am today. And I'm back again with another video. And as you can tell, I will be talking about and demonstrating the cuticle ball. Yes, that dreaded cuticle ball. If you've been doing acrylic nails or trying to learn acrylic nails for a while, you probably have been experiencing, may have experiencing some problems applying that cuticle ball and for those of you who don't know cuticle ball is the ball that lands right near the skin and it's tricky to master because you want to make sure that you are applying the acrylic on the nail and not uh, on the skin at all because if you do you will definitely have lifting which will cause the breakdown of the whole acrylic nail so that's why it's you know very important that you get it right and it does cause a lot of frustration trying to get it right. But you guys, the first thing to do uh, when you're trying to uh, create, you know, perfect cuticle balls is just to relax and treat it like any other ball, um, knowing that you have to pay more a lot more attention to it, but that you still can um, achieve it very well, achieve it achieve it perfectly. So um, first, y'all know I like them diagrams. <laughs> Uh, I just think diagrams help to solidify what you're trying to learn. So here's a picture of a nail and your third ball here, which is a cuticle ball. This is approximately how far you're going to be placing the cuticle ball away from the skin so that you can pat it and push it closer to the skin, but not on the skin. Okay. A lot of, uh, a lot of the time, the reason why that cuticle ball uh, is on the skin is because it's placed too close to the skin when you apply it. But if you put it back a little bit and then push it into place using the tip of your brush, then you will be able to achieve a nice cuticle ball. And as you can see, the nail is showing that it's coming and growing out of the skin. And that's what you want to achieve. But when you apply the cuticle ball too close, you don't get that nice um, natural curve of that nail coming as if it's growing out of the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you. So there are three steps to making the cuticle ball right. And the first is making sure you have your product ratio right with your acrylic, guys. If you have not watched that video on um, liquid powder ratio, then you definitely need to go ahead and do that. Because if you don't have your liquid powder ratio correct, you will not, not only make a good cuticle ball, but you will not make good strong acrylic nails, period. So that's the first step. The second thing is knowing exactly where you're going to place the ball. As I stated, I'm going to place it in the mid, a little towards the uh, cuticle, but not close. I'll show you again. And the third thing is how to work the cuticle ball. So you need to have your product ratio right, know where you're going to place that cuticle ball, and how to work the cuticle ball. Those three things there will ensure that you will always make a good cuticle ball. All right. So let me go ahead and demonstrate what I'm talking about. Okay, so step one, as I stated, is to make sure that you have your um, product ratio right and get your first ball. And you're going to go ahead, as I showed in the um, three ball process, um, you're going to start with your first ball. And, you know, you're going to just get your balls in place. I still use the three ball method. Okay, so that's the first ball. If you haven't seen the three ball method video, um, I suggest you go ahead and check it out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make my second ball. Place it. And just a brief recap, when you're doing your um, acrylic application, you have to decide, you know, how you're going to apply the acrylic. Well, there's one ball, two ball, and what have you. For beginners, I suggest the three ball. And 
you know, work from there if you want to uh, change your acrylic application. But the reason why I'm saying that is with the three ball method, you have to, you know, mentally divide the nail into three. Okay. Kind of like uh, measured in three so that you'll have enough area to go ahead and put your cuticle ball. Okay. Now, when you get to the cuticle ball area, it's helpful to angle the nail down so that gravity will help you keep that uh, acrylic off of the skin. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and still use a medium sized ball. Liquid product ratio is correct. That's the first thing. Second thing is where I'm going to place it. I'm placing it in the middle. See, it's not on the skin. And then how you're going to work the cuticle ball. And I'm just lightly patting it and gradually pushing it up towards the cuticle using just the tip hairs of the brush. Just the tip hairs. Okay. Now one thing about it. Don't feel like you have to do the three ball method in three balls. Okay. See, there is still a a big gap. There is still a big gap right here. I mean, you want to leave a gap, but you shouldn't leave so big a gap that it looks like they need a fill. Your client needs a fill, you know, as soon as you finish the service. So go ahead and take as many balls as you need to get the cuticle ball area done. Now, here's my ball. I'm still placing it in the middle. And I'm going, just using the very tip of my brush and just moving that acrylic closer and closer to the skin closer and closer to the skin and then I'm just lightly brushing it. The tip of your brush hairs should be able to go ahead and still slide upon the small area of the natural nail. Turn your nail to the side and as you can see it does look like it's growing out of the skin and that's it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that this again I've already done my first and second ball um, on the nail now I'm going to place my cuticle ball product ratio ball is correct you see the pearl I'm gonna go ahead and place it right in the middle of the nail and as you can see my, it's not moving anywhere until I move it I'm going to go ahead and just gently pat it in place. Again, using just light, quick, light, sorry, let me get in frame, uh, brush strokes, turning the nail. And again, I still, you know, need another ball. So I'm going to pick up a smaller ball so I can finish my cuticle area. Putting it in the middle, moving it. Lightly pushing it in place. Now, if you do a good prep, you will have enough surface on that nail to get your cuticle ball. I meant to say that earlier, but every every step builds upon the next one. So, if when you do your prep, you push back the cuticle, push back the epinicium, the skin, you'll have enough room to place your cuticle ball. And then if you see any little areas on that cuticle ball that are not filled in, just go ahead and place it. 
I'm turning it and as you can see it does look like the nail is coming out of the skin again my brush hairs are able to fit under the skin and there you have it now if you are having some trouble or you want some extra support you can go ahead and put your pinky like this and then hold your brush at an angle and pat it in place like that but you know it works better for me just to have without using the pinky so I'm turning alright so that's the cuticle ball area I hope it helps you I just want to give you a uh, show you on my nails um, that I did and as you can see it looks as though it's coming out of my skin coming out of my skin coming out of my skin on the thumb looks like it's coming out of my skin so again product ratio you have to have that down pat guys so that acrylic is not going all over the place on you um, second is where you're placing that acrylic I mean that cuticle ball and third is you have to have a plan on how to work it you know whether you're going from right to left left to right placing that ball in the middle however way is comfortable for you but you have to know how you're going to place it Lastly, I just want to show you guys how you can practice your cuticle ball if you don't have a nail trainer or if you do and you want to have an alternative way of practicing you can go ahead and glue your tip onto a toothpick use your full well um, nail tips do your acrylic um, on the whole nail or just practice and pretend like this curve here is the cuticle area and practice getting close to it but not going over it so you would just place it close and practice your movement of the acrylic pretending of course going around the sides and just practice leaving a gap do that about five six hundred times <laughs> and you will have that cuticle ball you see that gap that's how you can practice it on this tip alright guys hope this was helpful to you gave you everything I got to help you with your cuticle ball um, if you if it's been helpful, please like. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And if you have yet to become a part of the family, please do. Love to have you. And until next time, take care.